How's it going, everybody? I was thinking it would be hopefully entertaining and informative to give a quick talk on Biggs and Deschutes Picture Jaspers, uh, two classic Oregon lapidary materials. Uh, there's some really neat history involved, and I would say telling them apart is one of the trickier things in Oregon lapidary. Here I've got Biggs Jasper on the left and Deschutes Jasper on the right. Biggs Jasper tends to be a slightly larger pattern. I always think it gives more the aesthetic of brush strokes. Um, either can have dendrites. Biggs tends to have uh, bolder uh, sort of separating lines between the pattern. Uh, and also tends to be a little paler in color. This is a good example of Blue Biggs, which is uh, one of the more sought after varieties. Uh, and then Deschutes, by comparison, tends to be a little darker. The pattern tends to be a little tighter. Um, the lines aren't quite as bold. Um, yeah, clearly related, but a little different. Here's another example of Biggs. Once again, you get those really bold kind of horizon lines in the, in the scene. Lighter, pastel sort of colors. Slightly bigger, swirling pattern. One more example of Biggs here. Um, yeah, lighter, bigger, bluer. And then here's a few other Deschutes. Deschutes, you tend to get a bit more of the caramels and chocolate sort of tones. And uh, a lot of times you'll also see this sort of purple um, in both the hills and the sky, but especially in the sky. Uh, here's a few more Deschutes. The other thing you'll see with Deschutes Jasper is a certain variety that is often referred to as opalized Deschutes. I'm not uh, sure that that's a truly scientific term, but this particular uh, flavor of Deschutes is often referred to as opalized, and it does tend to be slightly softer, slightly more brittle, and doesn't polish quite as uh, quite, quite as glossy. Let me give you a little bit of context, both geographical and geological. We got Mount Hood over here on the left. Uh, we got the Columbia River flowing east to west, separating Washington from Oregon. And then we have the Deschutes River flowing north into the Columbia and the John Day River flowing north into the Columbia. Uh, this region, bounded by the three rivers, is sometimes referred to as the Biggs Triangle. Um, this is part of the large igneous province that makes up a big chunk of the northwest, especially central eastern Washington and uh, north East Central Oregon, uh, uh, a stack of flood basalts known as the Columbia River Basalt Group. And in this case, in the Biggs Triangle, you have this layer sandwiched between these basalt flows that's made up of lake bed sediments and a lot of volcanic ash. And that layer is exposed at different points in this Biggs Triangle and gives us the different variations in scenic jaspers uh, out of this area. No doubt about it, this stuff is really awesome. It's, uh, it's a beautiful material. I don't always love working with it. As you can see with the reflection here, this area here is very soft and sort of porous compared to the rest of the stone. Um, this stuff is uh, kind of a mixture of sediments and volcanic ash. I have seen pieces of this before with leaf fossils and other such things in them. Uh, it just isn't the hardest of the Jaspers. Um, there's a couple other cool examples of Biggs. Um, yeah, I do a lot of polishing, and this is not one of my favorite Jaspers to work with from that standpoint. But to be honest, I think it looks pretty great in a matte finish. I don't really mind uh, having these unpolished. Uh, the colors tend to darken just a little bit when you polish it. Here's another example of Deschutes showing that classic kind of caramel color. And then here's the polished side. It looks good, but I actually almost prefer unpolished. Keeps it a little lighter. 
Blue Biggs was discovered in 1964. There was a flood that washed out the old Highway 97 here between uh, Biggs and Wasco. And when they were cutting the road bed for the new highway, they discovered uh, this blue deposit of picture jasper. So 1964, Blue Biggs was discovered right about in here. Uh, and then Deschutes Jasper comes from, uh, it's currently in a state park, but it's right where the Deschutes meets the Columbia. There's a pit sort of overlooking the river right here. It was known and used as a quarry by native people. Um, I believe people have found artifacts of Deschutes Picture Jasper, uh, but it was mined for real by Hoot Elkins, I want to say mostly in the 70s and 80s, uh, and he was kind of the guy that brought it to market on a larger scale. And there are many more varieties than what I'm showing. Uh, certainly not all bigs is blue. Here's a couple examples of brown bigs. And uh, yeah, this is just scratching the surface. There are many other deposits uh, within the Bigs Triangle. But Deschutes and Blue Bigs are probably the most well-known and the most uh, collectible. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.